Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time checking out my videos, kindly subscribe. Have you watched my previous video? If yes, put it up as a comment. It was about the installment of three awesome men from the diaspora or from Africa. Because this time we have to stop, you know, segregating and saying this is diaspora, but sometimes just to describe the situation. And then two beautiful, awesome ladies as queen mother so if you've not watched that video go back to my previous video and then you would see it so then somebody asked in the comment section echo why are we giving why are we making the african americans or the african diaspora chiefs and queens now listen before someone is instilled as a chief or as a queen or as a king if we want to use that word it means that that person's participation in the development of that area is immense Yes, and it's not only, let me tell you, it is not only African Americans or African diasporas that get these awards. Sometimes, sometimes we even get white people being installed as queen mothers or kings. Why? Because the participation in the development of that community, like I said, is really immense. So we don't have to say, why are we giving them? Why are we doing it? No. If what they are doing, as to the development of the community and the society embraces what they are doing, then we have to encourage them. In the means of encouraging them, we give them certain positions. So someone also asked, Echo, they are queens and kings of what? Okay, so they are kings and queens of all the seven clans you find in Mori. So this position is called Abwafuhin. Abwafu means the helper. So they are the Abwafu. So if assuming this is your family and then a lot of people want to come and support the family, he is the one that takes all the support or that makes sure that support really comes into the clan or the family or the community to develop the family. So now one of the brothers that was also installed, Bright and Nablele, uh, after the installment, it was so beautiful. After the installment, I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Now he was telling me about cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, whatever. You know, I've been getting a lot of emails, messages, even friends do tell me about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I really don't understand. My brother, why don't you educate me and others about your business, which is Odua coin, which is basically, I think it's about a cryptocurrency thing, yes. So I gave him the opportunity to really tell us what Odua coin and his cryptocurrency business or company is all about. So let's get on and then hear what he has to say about cryptocurrency. Good. What, what a blessing to be back home in the motherland. Right now, I'm now privileged and honored to be at uh, Echo Simpson YouTube channel. Uh, this gentleman is doing a wonderful thing, connecting the diaspora with the locals. Uh, I'm here on this channel today to talk about the importance of why we're here, which is money. Uh, that money we'll be talking about today is all dual coin. When I travel around the world, my, my 10 years of journey, I've been to most of the West African countries. I see the high rates of inflation. I see uh, high cost of living. And I ask myself, why? Why are these nations not getting better? When I look at Nigeria, since the founding of Naira in 1973, the value has never, never been able to catch up with dollar. But I find out why. Because most of these countries are borrowing money with foreign currencies. And when you borrow money in foreign currencies, you cannot set their bills because you can't print their currencies. Americans borrow a lot of money from China all over the world, but they can print their money to offset their bills. That means that debt can be forgiven. Whereas in African countries, it's not possible. So we should learn to start borrowing money in our local currency. But why would they borrow money in local currency? The Western world don't trust local currency because all the currencies in Africa are weak currencies. When you travel from Africa, your money dies with you. It doesn't matter if it's Ghana cities, Nigeria Naira, South African Rand, Ethiopia Bear, Kenya shillings. The problems are the same. So that means there's a quest for alternative. And I've fed that alternative is all dual coin. I call this the genesis of Pan-Africa Economic Revolution. And this mission should start from home. We should change the way money moves through Africa and the rest of the world. So, how do we do that? Change is the only thing that's constant in life. But change doesn't happen without action. I'm telling our people today, 
I know most of you heard about Bitcoin, Ethereum, other cryptocurrencies. Those currencies don't mean nothing to us other than Odua coin. Because the purpose of Odua coin, Odua coin was created with African in mind. Because we understand that our children should be able to compete with children in China, in Germany. People say, why Odua? Well, I told them. Every good thing must not come from Israel, must not come from China, and must not come from Germany. We're intelligent people. And I see the opportunity that blockchain has given to us 10 years ago. Uh, when I experienced blockchain 10 years ago, I look around, uh, our people were not present. Uh, maybe it was a difficult process. Maybe the mining was hard for them. Or maybe they just want to make money. Nobody was there to guide them. For that reason, Odua coin was born. Because I see 1.4 billion people. Still, 1.4 billion people. There's no one single currency in Africa that we can take and say, let's go to Amazon and trade. And that we on board two dollars, two pounds, or two euro. And I disagree. And I felt cryptocurrency should give us that leverage, a decentralized ecosystem, a money that doesn't require interference, no excessive printing, no double spending, like the government printed money. Or do a coin mission is to leverage the power of blockchain and make money easier for the indigenous people, especially Africa. Where anyone, any child with a cell phone internet can tap into the global economy. That's what Odua Coin is all about. The movement is on. I urge everyone listening. Get your Odua Coin. Money should be spent and money should not be sold. A lot of stores are popping up. Whether it's in Bora Bora, whether it's in Ghana, whether it's in Nigeria. Uh, get your Odua Coin. Be at the primary market. You know, when you want to participate in web transfer, I call this, I call this legacy world. You have to be at the forefront. You have to be either at the dining table or they're going to throw you the cross. I'm calling every African today. Be at the dining table. Because this is the beginning of the Pan-African Economic Revolution. We cannot wait for the government to do everything for us. The global market is big now. Most of you want to buy something on Amazon. Most of you want to buy something in China. You have to convert the money to dollar first. But with Odua coin, you don't need to. It's conventional to fiat currencies. It's conventional to euro, it's to pounds. So it's the new frontier. Odua coin is making money easier for the indigenous people. Once again, I'm Brighton Abulele, the co-founder of Odua Blockchain Solution. I want to thank Echo Simpson for hosting this channel. And I have to live with one message. Knowing other people's race is intelligent. But knowing your own race is wisdom. The day we all come together as people, we have to take responsibility. We cannot complain our life. Complaining is not a strategy to change. Change is all about taking action. We have to be responsible. We cannot blame our forefathers for every bad things. We have to move forward. We have to stay in the presence. Because... For Africa to advance in civilization, the foundation of our existence cannot be marginalized. Our religion, our philosophy, our heritage has to be protected. That's why I'm here home today at Cape Coast. And this journey is not going to start from here. You're going to catch me in Ethiopia. You're going to catch me in Nigeria. You're going to catch me in South Africa. You're going to catch me in Tanzania. You're going to catch me in Zimbabwe. Because for things to happen, we got to grab the bull by the arm. One message I'm going to leave to you today, go grab your do a coin. And what matters is, what is in your wallet? Uh, people can ask him, how do I grab a do a coin? Well, we, we're here on the mass adoption. We'll just pop that with one of the biggest matching gates we call Simplest. So from the comfort of your home, just go first of all, you have to download the wallet. Every cryptocurrency has their own wallet. Bitcoin has its own wallet. Ethereum has their own wallet. Ripple has their own wallet. Go to the App Store, Play Store. Search for Odua Pay. Odua Pay is an equal wallet, an e-wallet for Odua Coin. A better way to exchange values anywhere. Once you download your wallet, register your wallet, and from your wallet, you can buy Odua Coin. You can buy Odua Coin with a branded Visa and MasterCard, even American Express. If you have Apple Pay, you can buy Odua Coin. And good news for those in Brazil, our brothers in Brazil. With Pix, you can buy Odua Coin. And for those in Africa, just download the wallet, 
click on buy or do our simplest, you buy with your local currency. They do all the, all the transactions, they do all the KYC. If you're buying below $200, you don't need any KYC. You can just tap the wallet. It takes 10 minutes to an hour. Simplest will give you the coin. Why I'm in Ghana for the next 10 days, we've talked with Simplest to waive the transaction fees of buying a dua. So the percentage was only 3%. During this week from uh, September 16 to September 26, you 10 days, you can be able to buy a dua with no fees on Simplest. That means when you use your Visa card, they're not gonna charge you 5%. We've negotiated with them to bring the fee. Okay, that's our goal. Wanna make sure that people are able to find a dua coin easily. And you can also go to the exchange. You can also buy from friends and family. It's peer-to-peer, -peer, okay? The key here is to make money easier. There's no human interference. And for those that already have a dual coin, I want to say congratulations. You've made a bold, bold move. Uh, because if we don't do nothing, and nothing's going to happen, this is the return of massive Musa. And we should be grateful to have a blockchain. Although a coin is the first Pan-African cryptocurrency with its own native blockchain. We are not Ethereum. We are not on, block, on Bitcoin chain. We have our own chain called Audio Chain. And we also launch our NFT. But for those of you that are very interested in NFT, we have good news for you. You can go to Ubuntu, UbuntuNFTs.com. Most of those NFTs are going to be tied to tangible assets. When you buy one of those NFTs, you can, have, you can be buying a piece of land in Ghana. Can you imagine buying an NFT? And that ended to give you a right to a piece of land. That's powerful. So, guys, all we're saying, go to the website, odoacoin.io. It gives you a lot of opportunity. You can store your Odua coin in a decentralized wallet. But for us that are new, I recommend Odua Pay Wallet. You can find Odua Pay Wallet on App Store or Play Store. And for those that don't have cell phones, you just want to use the browser, just go to odoapay.com. Download, the, download or register your wallet, store it, use it. It's the future. Thank you.